Welcome back, fourth grade. Today our lesson's going to be on 11.5, which is page 627 in your Go Math books. Today we're looking at problem solving, focusing on solving for an unknown angle. So we're going to look at page 627 at that unlock the problem. So for unlock the problem, they have a square. And it looks like it has been divided in half. Now we already know that squares are made up of right angles. And we know that a right angle equals 90 degrees. So if we are splitting this angle in half, we already know it's 90 degrees. Your book is telling you that one side is 45 degrees and the other is X. And that X represents our unknown angle. So in order to figure out what X is, well, we already know that X plus 45 has to equal 90 degrees because we know that these two angles together give us the right angle. So, in order to figure this out, if we already know that one part is 45 and one part is 90, we can subtract 45 from 90. Ninety minus forty five is forty five. So we can say that X is equal to forty five degrees. And in order to check ourselves, we can plug this forty five into X. So if I plug it in, I would have forty five plus forty five equals ninety. And if I do my math here on the side, I am correct. A lot of what this chapter, or I should say this lesson, is really wanting you to do is use your knowledge of a lot of angles that you should know. In the try another problem, they've given you a shape. And then again, they've drawn their little line around what I would say half, but again, this is just my interpretation. Now, they're telling you that one of the angles is 55 degrees, and our unknown again is X. So we need to think of this, this is a straight angle, and we know that a straight angle, I'm going to put SA, equals 180 degrees. So this whole angle here is 180. So we know that X plus 55 should equal 180. So would it make much sense if I actually added 55 to the 180? No, because the 55 is part of 180. So I'm going to subtract. By subtracting over here, I get rid of the 55, and I'm left with X. Now I'm going to do my subtraction. 180 minus 55. I'm left with X equals 125 degrees. Again, how can I check it? Now I'm going to plug it in. If X equals 125, that means 125 plus 55 should equal 180. I'm actually just going to bring this down over here. 5 and 5. 5, 2, 1. 
one plus nothing, 180. So I am correct. Now, some of the problems in this lesson, they're giving you the measurement. going to give you an example. If you go to page 629 and you look at number one, again, they're giving you a shape. Okay. Now, they've broken down the shape into it being a square. And again, we know that these squares are made up of right angles. Right angles equal 90 degrees. Now, they're telling you that this whole vertex here is 115 degrees and that this smaller section is X. Now, again, we know, since this is a right angle, that we have 90 degrees. So 90 degrees plus X should give us 115 degrees. Again, it doesn't make sense for me to add the 90 to 115. 90 is part of it. So I need to subtract it. So 115 minus 90. I've got five minus zero. I need to borrow. 11 minus 9 2. So 115 minus 90 equals 25. That means that x equals 25. And again, I can always go back and check. I can plug it in. If 90 plus 25 equals 115, I know that I'm correct. So 90 plus 25 0 plus 5, 9 plus 2. It is 115. I am correct. For this lesson, I know that some of you guys might overthink it, but just remember, they are giving you the, the whole. They're giving you the whole angle, and then they want you to figure out the measurement of the smaller ones. And they're already giving you one part. Key thing to remember, I'm going to write those three angle measurements and the circle measurement up on the board again so that way you can reference it. But if you know these three, it should really help you. Again, a right angle, 90 degrees. A straight angle, 180 degrees. And then a circle has a total of 360. Guys, just remember, if they're already giving you the whole, you don't worry about this. For example, on number two on page 631, they're giving you the whole. So don't start plugging in this 360, okay? Reference this if you need it, for the most part. Just look at what it's really asking you to find and utilize your hole that they're giving you and the part and solve for it. I hope this helps. If you need anything, message me on Teams.